Let's take that last problem with acetic acid and expand upon it. I'm still going to have one mole of acetic acid, but this time I'm going to add a mole of sodium acetate to the solution. I'm still going to have a liter total in N. Let's see if we can find what the pH is. So in this problem we are combining acetic acid and sodium acetate. Now we're still talking about the dissociation of an acid, so we're going to take our acetic acid and break it apart into the acetate ion and the hydrogen ion. So what significance does the sodium acetate provide? The sodium acetate contains acetate. The ion is common with the ion and acetic acid. The sodium here is not important, it's a spectator. So when we do our ice chart, our initial concentration of the acetic acid will be one molar again, because it's still one mole per one liter. Our concentration of the acetate ion, the conjugate base, is also one molar because it's being provided by the sodium acetate. And initially we don't have any hydrogen ion. So if we continue through we can say minus x plus x plus x. And so at equilibrium I get one minus x, one plus x, and x. So now if I go into my equilibrium expression, Ka for acetic acid is still 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. We can say that's going to equal x times 1 plus x all over 1 minus x. Now we're going to make the same assumption as we've been going all along that x is significantly smaller than 1 because our Ka value is much smaller than our initial concentration. That means the 1 minus x term could be simplified to just be 1. And by the same logic, the 1 plus x term can also be simplified just to be 1. So when all is said and done, 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5 equals x. Another way to say that is that the concentration of H plus equals the Ka value. And yet another way to say that is that the pH equals pKa. Now this might not make a lot of sense yet, but stay tuned and this statement will make more sense and be more important in the future. That happens if you have a weak acid and its conjugate base in equal molar, same amount of both substances initially in the reaction. So let's finish the question. If I know that x equals 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5, I know the H plus ion is equal to the Ka, so the pH will equal the pKa. So in this case, the pH equals 4.74.